All right, I think that's fine. All right. So we're at this bridge, and there's a couple of wolves spawn here. Tin, tin. These are my people. These are my Vao. I guess I'll just try and deny them a little bit, right? That's what I usually do. Also, I'll... Do this, of course. Go here and overwatch. You learn, we are strong. That was a pretty. That looked pretty. She looked pretty. Anyway, uh, so it's Mogger's turn. Right. You go here. Pa pow. Anyone else? Pen Calbrin. Yeah. All right, her turn again. Mm, that wasn't a very effective Overwatch, but. It'll do. Let's do it again. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, he's a bit out of position. She doesn't do anything. Follow her here and da. They don't move much, it seems. Come at me, why don't ya? Mm, yeah. Oh wait. Oh, eagle's in the way. Never mind. Crit. Well. Guess I guess I could be thread of the needling here. Oh, fuck. Well, in that case, I'll overwatch again. Ktanwa. Oh, now she's joining the battle herself. Uh, sure. And a kill for a lap. I mean, I won't get... let myself get too drawn into... into their ranks here. Let them come at me. Wait, what? What kind of range is that? That's right. Anyone else wants to try? <laughs> um, that's a lot of armor damage. Oh god, you're so out of position. Three Val is a bit much for this bridge. Ah. Uh, right, I need to get someone in the way now. Uh, I think I'll just stonewall, to be honest. I think they'll be coming at Eagle quite a bit. Right, Hakon. 
An eagle's blocking the way, right? So we might have to go through here. I don't know. I think we'll go here. Eagle go out of the way. Next turn. Hmm. Arrow trap? Nah. I don't even know. That guy in his range. Also, this is impossible for a dread for Val. Great, just great. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Silence, I kill you. Mm, no, I think I'll actually overwatch again. And if anyone moves, they'll get shot. That's right. Oh, Mogur. We'll get to do something. Promotion. That's right. That's not what we agreed on, is it? Really? They took out a lead. I can't believe it. You've been out of position for a whole, a whole long time, huh, Gunulf? Mm, as as he. Alright, I need to start making a bit more sense here with what I do. I take this one out, but I don't think I wanna. Um. Do some strength damage. I'm really focusing on Hakon now, huh? Let's do some break damage then. Wait, what's the skill again? Sundering Impact? Oh, Tempest. Mm. No, I want to do break damage. Deflect. Right. Something to do for our green clad warhawk here. Yeah. He comes down from the poison. Give her a kill. Mm, I guess Gunulf can take her out. Gunulf too strong. And Lat and Hakon are injured, right? Yeah. A slight cream-colored horseborn with flaxen hair steps out of the ranks of the wounded. The blue war paint stands out against her otherwise yellow coloration. The remaining horseborn show deference to her. She says a few things in the foreign tongue of her people, but stops when she sees you do not understand. Forgiveness, she says fluently. I speak to you. You have my weapon.
Why not like this in the first place? Sorry for fight. Not know it, you. She speaks your language with confidence. What do you mean, and who are you? I lead herd. I am... The next word is long, shrill and confusing, but certain sounds stand out. Canary? Canary smiles and stomps the ground rhythmically with a hoof. That easy. Canary, yes. And you? My name is the lad. Good greetings. Our stories tell of stranger who come help us. You two legs that walk along four, my kind with you already. She points to the horse born in your ranks. Mm. And how am I supposed to help you? Save us. We look strong, but weak against... She searches for the words, but can only point all around. When sun stops and planes break and God appears, follow two legs that, qu that walk along four. This our story. We hold true. You see these things. The sun has stopped and I've seen the ground breaking. But what God are you talking about? Large snake. Not from this plane. A serpent. It certainly could be a god. You've seen the god too. You know these signs. You lead us. We follow. Canary looks at you with a steady gaze and instead of the constant movement you experience with Durdryu. Warn her, warn her that not everyone likes the Warsborn. Most of the horseborn we've met have caused us harm, including you. Many of my people won't want to be near your people. Not today, but different day. Hurts fight, but forget. Humans remember things a long time, Val even longer. Hurt believes, leader. We follow you. Hurt grows strong. She bows again, motions to her people, and all the horseborn join your ranks at a respectful distance. Does that mean more fighters and clansmen, or... No, they're not counted in this, I guess. Also, we won't make it in a hundred days to Aberang, right? It's gonna be like a hundred... a hundred and one days or something. Oh, God. You see, the moon and stars are always visible when you look at Loiga's godstone. How can that be true? Oh, this looks beautiful. Very nice. Ah, the art in this game. It's gorgeous, I gotta say. Spirit, the stars rise, Saleo says, plucking a few strings of his instrument. Lauga, the god of beauty and of, well, of things that happen in the night. The skald smiles. The gods may be dead, but my wife still prays to Lauga. I'm thankful for her piety. The skald is not the only one smiling. A quick look around reveals grins throughout the caravan. I see why Abrang's grown so quickly over the years, you say, and the skald laughs. Truth spoken in front of Lauga Stone is supposed to ripple through the night, either strengthening a lover's resolve or carrying away undesired affection. Leo skips away to find his wife. You hear the unmistakable clank of Eagle's shield behind you. Oh, you. Lauga's Godstone is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, beautiful. He is a simple man, but I like him. <laughs> he isn't looking at the Godstone. We've come all this way. We fought the dredge, killed Asunder. Aleo says we're destined to bring all clans together. Aleo's a scout, Jill. Storytelling is his job. Eagle shrugs. 
still need to think we're part of something bigger. Swanda is refreshing. You smile at him, looks up at the god stone and takes a deep breath. Alette, it's a miracle that I'm still alive. So I've got to tell you something before my luck fades. Mm. Lean forward and smile. Jill stands taller and steps closer to you. Alette, you're the strongest and smartest woman I've ever known. Your beauty shames the dawn's light on a clear spring morning. You raise an eyebrow at him. Sorry. Leo tried to help me put my thoughts into words. Alette, I love you. His tone is sincere. His eyes hold no expectations. And you don't have to love me back, but I had to say it. He exhales, relieved of a great burden. Aww. Let's not break his heart. Um, I was hoping you'd say that. You, you were? Don't act so surprised. You're a brave fighter who always treats me with respect. I hope you know I feel strongly for you, but until everyone is safe in Abrang... I just needed you to hear it from me, and I'm glad you wanted to hear it. If and when you know you love me too, you come find me, okay? Your eyes feel wet as you smile and nod. Eagle grabs your hand and kisses it before leaving. How sweet. The two of them can be good together, I'm sure. Renown plus five. And now I'm happy that I kept him alive in one. Look at that. So it's literally the hundredth day. You won't make it in day hundred, huh? Oh god, this is so close. No, we won't make it. Finally, we Fuck! made it. But why are so many camped outside the walls? They must have seen the darkness approaching. <laughs> oh god, it's it's literally like half a day away. <sighs> well, we can't train up to 600 fighters either. Might as well rest then. Improve morale. Get everyone to be not hurt. This is kinda annoying though. I do have 84 renown. Um, huh. Oh no, we don't. We only have one day of supplies left. Crap. The wind ripples across tents, which multiply the closer you get to Aberang. Dung litters the paths, and it is clearly not all from Yox. Rattling coughs mixed with raucous, raucous laughter, laughter. Small fights break out for no apparent reason. Curious eyes grow wide as they spot the violent horseborn. Mothers grab their children, men their weapons. I mean, if this is the text box, di text box dialogue for Aberang, and we hadn't rested just now, We'd literally be at like day 101 in like two hours. That's so stupid. Um, I don't know where we could squeeze out another day though in the past. It'd have to be with the... Um, with the ravens, right? Maybe there was a point where I rested to get my injuries in order. And if I didn't... If I hadn't done that, uh, I might have made it actually. That's kind of... It's kind of upsetting, actually. Various clan banners snap and whip in the wind. You recognize the heraldry of Kalsus from Aleo's Tales and Strand's banner from previous talks with Ubin. There are even a few Cragsman banners by their muddy appearance. You also notice the division between each clan. There's no mixing or unity. I'll push ahead, Prince Ludin says. My father will want to see me and I'll be able to find out what exactly is going on here. First, and a few fighters escort him through the crowds towards the walls. 
old Arakan's people are here, you hear a woman from your caravan shout. I have to check on him. Others are finding similar clans and kin as well, slowly drifting from your banner. Bring everyone to me. Maybe we'll still get over for uh, 400. Some of the folks around the fires look half starved and gladly join, making their way toward the supply carts. Uh oh. Others pack their meager possessions and fall in line. 521. That's good. Oh well, we actually could make it to 600 fighters now, but we don't have the supplies to rest this long. Where the crowd is the most dense in volume and numbers, the caravan comes to a stop. Ahead, you notice a sharp line where the tents and people stop. The ground beyond is pinned with arrows and not much else. A few hundred yards of empty space between these people and Abarang's walls. What is this, you ask, confused by all, confused by all you are taking in? That's the peaceful bit an older fighter says near you. He looks the type who has seen enough things to lack enthusiasm for much of anything. The king's men can't kill us from the walls and we can't kill them from here. But what's caused the fighting, you ask? The man smiles, his face unaccustomed to the action. action. Come on, Thunder Slayer, he says. It's the same damn thing that causes every fight. They've got something we want. King's got food and protective walls. We're here starving with our asses facing the rolling darkness. His words steal you a heavy blow. So, Abrang's at war? The man laughs a wicked laugh. That's putting it lightly, he says. From what I can tell, this is the rest of our kind. We brought the last of the Val and even dragged in some worthless horseborn. This fight is for survival. Winner lives, loser's gone forever. His laugh turns into hysteria and you leave, unsettled. Hmm. It's a nice visual. Leader of clans. Oh! That's the... Bring 400 people into Abarang, right? Phew! Just barely. Just barely. Um, because we took on a few more people there. That was close. The yoks are tended and tens aligned, tents aligned as best as possible. Some are repairing their armor, others look anxious to talk to various clans. Um, so yeah, if I hadn't rested, it'd be like day 101 and a third. So, if I hadn't rested, and I had one more day, I would have made it in 100 days. That's pretty upsetting. Just one day along the way. The orcs are tended and tents aligned. Yeah, alright, we had that already. The Val, King, the Val King's eyes scan the field as he approaches. I want to know what's going on here as much as you, he says. But we'd better find a way to defend our gear and supplies. These other clans could form a mob if they discover we have food. Seeing the hungry eyes all around you, you agree. I've got an issue, Odd Life says. I don't know why, but the other clans don't like the Horseborn. Or the Val, for that matter. They're starting trouble if I'm... They're starting trouble and I'm going to stop it. You decide what to do. Hmm... Go with Odd Life to hope stop the troublemakers, I think. Skathach has his weapon drawn, and a few Val are standing near him with shields up. Humans in growing numbers are hurling every sort of curse at them. Mm. Walk back to your fires, or we'll make you wish you had. Fighters do not respond well to your threat and immediately charge. Alright. Mm. Who are we missing? Hakon? Oh, Hakon's doing something else. Alright. Well, um... Should we take Aleo? I mean, we're missing some... High strength. Uh, some high strength person. Also, I could upgrade Mogur. What would I upgrade though? I can't get him to 10, unfortunately. 
I could get I could get Gunolf to ten. Uh, that cost like how much is it? Like thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, and nineteen. So like around sixty or so. Mm, she almost has the kills for level ten. He doesn't. He doesn't. So wait. I mean, let's see if we can get everyone to level 10, or enough people to level 10 in this game. If I get him six more kills... Or how much is level 9 to 10? Like 21? Because 8 to 9 is 19. If I get him six more kills and him eight more kills, I'll have these three, four, could make him level 10, could make Hakon level 10, but then no one else, right? So we'd have a last one missing anyways. There's no one with like even close to 30 kills left. 14's the highest. Oh, Eric's still there. That's right. Leo's 15. Nid has four. How about Gris? Nine. Logan, six. Trig V, eight. Yeah, all right. Well, then I can just upgrade the ones I want to. What would I even give Gunulf, though? With like 10 more points. Well, all right. Probably exertion and stuff. Yeah. Well, let's upgrade Mogur. Hmm, he has hunker down level three. Uh, exploit, divert, dodge, lucky shot. Maybe just more willpower actually. And then, yeah, sure. I think I'll. Uh oh, I need to actually choose an ability. Forge ahead? Nah. Sundering impact, sure. Hmm, this is expensive. I actually don't have enough. All right. Well, anyway, two exertion is good. Some of that is good. Or do I actually want to give him... I mean, I might give him the second armor break as well. Look at that. Gunulf has exertion now. Don't think I, I expected that ever. I mean, Aleo has like 13 strength, right? Mm, let's take him, sure. All right. And I guess we're ready for battle.